Scheduled three rounds of three minutes. Referee is Mr. Niels Burskens. That, that 33 age okay, is, is three rounds, uh, three minutes. You something both know the where rules. at this make it point a good you're like, clean fight. if we're going to make a pro like, run, this oh, is a key fight now. Mm -hmm. Also, we've got the, um, the actual thing, Germany versus okay, step back, step Dutch, back. you know, yeah. it's um, a rivalry line, here, line. straight away. Definitely a little bit of spice, and you can see in the stare down between the two men there. Yeah, and nobody ready, ready. asked them to come face to face. They both chose to do that. You know, they could stand in their corner and be introduced, but they both stepped forward. And okay, we have three rounds of three minutes. As this is our final amateur bite of uh, amateur fight, even of the LFL nine card. This man showing a couple of fake legs, you know, feints with the thigh and, and the hand. Very considered start so far, both of them fainting and trying to work out the distance. Faints are something people talk about a lot and you see referenced a lot, but you can over faint too, you know, especially when you're young and you, you think that your opponent will bite on everything. You're, you're also giving him a lot of information about what is and isn't real, you're offering him all this. It's, it's an unpredictable big long kid. Same side kick punch. Felt that jab and switched back to uh, both switching stances again. See them just trying to work and ease each other out. Nothing big landed so far, but a few, ball, a few little markers there that they'll make each other respect the other. But everything is being thrown with a lot of commitment from both guys. That seemed to... That shot from Goodhart seemed to make Dozel take notice and take a few steps back, and Goodhart moved in for it, but it's our first little grappling exchange now. Goodhart tried a, tr a little turning wait, trip. Wait, 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 stop the time. That's a uh, patella to the cup. Yeah, unfortunate because that does not feel good. No. Big. They traded. No talking, no talking. They traded cup shots. You heard the ref say no talking. He's meaning you, you can't corner your fighter, or you're not supposed to corner your fighter during this break. I, th I think that was a heavy, heavy um, knee to the grind then. Uh, Dozel is, is, is the taller of the two, the longer reach. Um, there was having a little feel out for the first minute or so of the round. Yeah, that um, was clean. Yeah, it looked like actually Dozel hit him with a groin shot first. Like a, uh, it was it was low anyways. Um, <laughs> so the second one might have been like, hey, if you're gonna you're gonna smoke my boys, I'm gonna knee yours. Yeah, a little bit of re retaliation, but it seems that one person came off there better. Yeah. yeah. I take it they got what up to five minutes to yes. um, recover. Okay. Yeah, but we just heard the ref there say two minutes. They still got three minutes to go, and yeah, Dozel laying on the floor there was not a very happy bunny. No. And all of these, you know, different things—a break or something—they both fighters have to be able to manage this. You know, sometimes the the other guys on the ground. You, your fighter's not the hurt one, but you want to make sure that he's still engaged in the fight. He's not letting it down or getting distracted. That's right, Rabin. It's, it's a case of also, you know, you're a fighter and you've got to um, expect the unexpected right sometimes. Okay. Um, nice show of respect from the two men there. Okay, fighters ready? Fight! Let's see if that has changed the momentum sway of this fight at all. Coach, when you see somebody using, quote, using a lot of feints, do you sometimes think that too, that they're showing too much fakeness? Yeah, you can, you can do it. And um, if they're expecting you to react to every little movement and they, then you're not, then th that, that, that can play against you. Um, you use your feints um, for a purpose to see what reaction you can get from your fighter, your opponent. And if you're not working, then you've got to go into another mode. Have these guys got that mindset for that? It's time to see oh, big shot by Goodhart. Those will try to grab onto a leg. He's, he's got this. No, he won't. Not yet. 
big wide stance from G Goodhart to, to try to defend that. So he landed a kick and then he put a right hand right to the ear. And that sent sprawling, but who managed to recover very efficiently to move this into a grappling exchange just to have a, just enough time to get his mind back in order. In an otherwise fairly close round, that punch no! that drops a man is going to make it your round. Totally agreed. Coach, what did you think looking at that first round? Well, Gozad looks the more stylish of the two. Um, he looks the more refined fighter to me. Um, but those who, you know, he's a big lad. Um, he showed that he's, he's, he, he's in, he's in well, more than well in this fight. Um, what's that grind blow as it took, what's it took out of him? Um, but for me, Goodhart looks the more stylish. He's holding the center of the um, cage more. He's, um, you know, making the fight. He's, he's, he's the man making the fight. Um, yeah. That was a good little decent overhand right. Um, which you should be looking to throw to the taller opponent. But, you know, um, those who've done the right thing, grabbed on, pushed him against the cage, and seen the round out in a defensive position. Seconds out for round two. Very fascinating first okay, round. So again, a second of three rounds for anyone just joining. This is an amateur bout, so these are three minute rounds. Goodhart is in the orange trunks. Okay, Dozo second round. is in the grey and orange. So I think we'd agree that uh, maybe um, Goodhart is one up. Uh, in, a, in an otherwise close round, when you land that punch that knocks the man off his feet, you, most judges are going to go that way. It's interesting. Goodhart does some little stance switches that are not sort of conventional. A switch in, a, in an odd time. Even that overhand right landed off a kick to a switch, to a step back switch. Let's see if he does it again. No, this time kick to a side kick. Now steps back. There, the right hand again. Kind of the a modified sequence that landed the first time. Yeah, good answer. Like I said, he's, he's the more stylish of the two. Um, those all is more conventional, um, upright. Um, hands not too high. He's, he's engaging, but um, good heart is having more um, success in when they come to engage in close range. Left hook. And that's got to keep it honest. Yeah, that's exactly it. Goodhart's kind of measuring and trying to find the moment. And when he's taken two seconds too long for the moment, that's when uh, Dolzel has been striking through the middle of this round. He's, he's going to be a little too precious about it. Hit him. Yeah. It, it may be a case of overreading the situations. Okay. Those have got the double underhooks here. Let's see if he can take it to take it out to the ground. Oh. Goodhart gets the left arm underneath. Now left control in the wrist, right overhook. And the right shin across. So these are quite even positions so far. That's a, a good attempt when you're in an even position. Maybe you can s string out a leg, but... Goodhart almost reversed it there, but Dozil managed to switch it back into his control. What should Dozil be looking here to take this to the ground? It's tricky, like there's, you know, if you can drop low and try to take legs, you can try to access the back from underneath, but the best thing is to threaten all of those things. Get him overreacting to one so you can go to a different. Yeah, chain together a series of yeah. different attempts to see uh, what sticks and what allows you to move into an yeah, advantageous it, position. Yeah, how he responds. If you're going to drop down and, and try to collect his thighs, does he drop down? And then can you get above him? You're just trying to, to manipulate him a little bit. But it's very even. Each one is kind of reacting to the other's choice. So this middle minute and a half is literally a wash. So if anybody hurts the other in this final 20 seconds, that'll be the one who wins the round. Yeah, I wouldn't like to be a judge scoring this one. This round has been unbearably yeah. close. Yeah, but those are doing the right thing, you know, um, pushing Goodhart to the cage. He's working his legs when he gets the chance to. Yeah. And, you know, I think he's even around that. Hey! I think so. I think so. A tough one to call, but I agree. But you could also see Dozel in that last bit throwing some heavy knees into Goodhart's legs. Yes. And you could see the way Goodhart's leg was pulling it back, that it was deeply uncomfortable. Yeah, but those, the head of those, tri of those uh, quadriceps, when you smash them, they hurt. I mean, looking at this fight now, I would give the first round to Goodhart. The second round is very close. Uh, could be sh a an even round. Um, yeah. So, therefore,
goes on now, he's going to come out, maybe push the issue, uh, push the issue a little bit more, and see if he can get um, a third round. If he can win the third round, this fight can go anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, if you said to both, you might find yourself going into the third round even. They'd both like that. It's like, oh, it's okay, three minutes. Out. If I win three minutes, I think I'm going to win this fight. That's what the coaches should be telling them. Yeah. Well, let's see if they come out with that urgency, because at this stage, it could be either man's fight going into our third and final round of this amateur bout. It's okay, a, final round. It's right. a beautiful simplicity and win these three minutes. You know, that's something a young fighter can understand. It does seem someone said that to Khutha, he's come out uh, with a bit more active than previous rounds immediately. You know, looking at the two fighters, you can see um, Goodhart. He's the more, like I say, the more flairish, the more stylish of the two. Does that catch, catch the judge's eye? Um, got some nice. Oh. Yeah. That was just clean timing. That's he read the whole the whole package. And in these short rounds, remember that is a big moment that could stick in judges' memories. Yeah. And it, it, Goodhart should kick these legs. Just kick them. Make him stay there and make him stay there. If you don't kick the legs, okay, they'll stand him up. Stand up. And there it is. Yeah, I think Goodhart um, missed one there. Eh? Fight! He, he, he could have worked them legs and kept him down there a little bit longer, you know, burn out the clock a little bit more. Yeah, and in a dominant position and fight this potentially close. And even if he wanted it on his feet, which I think he did, yeah, like Coach says, take 30 or 40 seconds of ownership of that, of that middle not minute. Not on his knee, not on his knee. And same... Uh, same move again, Cordozo. Yeah, and that's really now, you know, uh, Goodhart is, is the one taking charge here. And you go to the head kick off the post there, that's nice. He, d he didn't get up that high, but that was what he was trying. There you go, he's making a few angles to kick the legs like that there. And that's what you should be doing. You know, for as long as you're prepared to stay down there, make the most of it. And you put him down twice now, and if we're Come into on, the final guys. minute, you're going to win this fight if you are defensively sound here. Okay, break. Stand up. It's an interesting, right. interesting move by Khutat uh, not to necessarily follow him down when Dozel isn't known specifically as a BJJ specialist. Goodhart twice has landed the straight right when he's brought Dozel forward. And Dozel that time throw, it comes in behind the left hook. He's fighting hard, though, Dozel. He knows he needs to own this minute. Definitely. We'll see if there's enough time for him to get the work in that he needs to. It, you know, you, you hope for his sake that, that he gets what he wants out of it, but even if he doesn't win the fight, you, he, this has revealed something to him about himself, that when he needs to go, he can go. And, and there's a beauty in that. You don't know what you're capable of until you find yourself in the final minute of an important fight. Once again, another high-quality um, amateur fight. Mm. There's room for one big shot here, a big knee, or...? There you go, last 10 seconds. Yeah, there's a, it's a good knee. And that matters, but when you've been knocked down twice, I'm not Die! sure that's going to be enough. But good on him for pushing right to the end. Yeah, and a very slick takedown as well, but... Hey! Oh. Guys, stand up, stand up, stand up. It's Li okay, it's okay. Little bit of unpleasantries okay, there. Back to what I said earlier about the Germany versus Dutch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. The bad blood is flowing through. Yeah, I like that word, coach. Uh, stylish, you know? He's got a stylish nature to the way that he moves. That right hand, he found time to, to just land it. This take down at the end, this could matter. It's off the knee. And I wonder, uh, you know, did he just sort of push him away or? Yeah, I think he just kind of pushed him off. I think that kicked oh, there, that, Yeah, then yeah. he returned it. Yeah. It's okay to push away. It's not okay to kick back. Well, looking at the fight, yeah, close fight, but yeah. I would have to go for good art. I think so. They've kissed the maid up now. Yeah. <laughs> as much as Germany well, and Holland Well, let's do the center of the ring, please. First of all, a big applause for Sven Dolezal and Roland Huthart. Well, after three rounds of three minutes, we've counted the points, and we have a winner. And the winner is the man in there.
Red Corner, Roland Woodhart. A close fight, but one that could have probably dominated in all the well, 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 got less dominated, but won some key moments yeah. in there. That's Had right. some big exchanges in these three minute rounds, and yeah, that's a good foundation, good springboard for him to go and most likely turn pro after this. Yeah, at 33 years old, you know, uh, it's time. Yeah, I agree, Robin. 33 years of age, he's got no time to be hanging around now. He's got to, you know, make it work. Yeah. But looking at the guy, you know, I mean, he looks like he's got the tools to go on to um, achieve, you know, a good promising career in this game. Uh, good looking lad, he looks like he wants it, he's very stylish, looks the part. He got a big fan, 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 oh, fan following, oh, so you know, all the best to the And he can have his first four or five pro fights right here at LFL. Oh, yeah. that's, that